Hello, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Jason. Uh, our factory is uh, Yuri. Uh, our brand is Chuchen for the MG World. Uh, okay, today uh, I'm in the in our new MG World factory. This is our first factory for the MG World. Uh, we already have. Three production lines for the pure sulfate MG board. Uh, in this new factory, we equipped it with our new technology and only produced the pure sulfate MG board. Uh, now in the market, there are many uh, news and uh, about the shortage of the supply of raw materials and uh, different uh, types of MG board. In our factory, we produce different types of the MG board, uh, like the pure, uh, like the common non board. Uh, like the uh, high strength flooring board, uh, laminated uh, uh, SPL decoration board. So today, we uh, in our new factory, I will show you the production process of, uh, of the MG board and show you how we produce the MG board. From this video, you are going to know uh, what the MG board, uh, how the MG board produced. From the production line and know more about the MG board. So uh, now I'm sitting, uh, I'm standing in the room of the raw materials. Uh, behind me is the uh, bags for the sawdust. For the sawdust, uh, we also have requirements for the standards like the mass, uh, the particle size, the moist moisture content of the uh, sawdust. Also, will if affect the affect the quality of the MG board. So in our factory, we only purchase the qualified uh, sawdust from our long-term cooperation uh, partners for producing our selfie the MG board. Uh, so after the raw materials are prepared in this room, uh, it they will deliver it to the production line. So next step, we are going to see the production process. Okay. Okay, this is a very big plant for the MG board. It's a, we finished the construction yet last year and uh, put into production this year. So this is a whole new production line for the South Vietnam MG board. Uh, it will starting from putting the mold on the production line. After the mold has put on the production line, uh, we will put uh, the demolding oil on the surface of the mold. And then uh, the first layer is the slurry. It's a very fine uh, liquid. This is the slurry. Slurry is the, when you see the finished product, the slurry is the first layer. It's very smooth on the board. So then uh, we will put the fiberglass mesh on the slurry. You can see uh, the current production line, current production uh, batch is used two layers of the fiberglass mesh. So after the fiberglass mesh, then is the middle layer material. It's, this is the uh, main materials in making the MG board. It's the very thick. It depends on thickness. It makes uh, the MG powder, uh, magnesium sulfate, uh, sawdust, and perlite, and many uh, fitting materials in this layer. So after putting the middle layer materials, we will put another two layers of a fiberglass mesh. You can see the color of the board and the mesh is a high quality types. Uh, the board used the scrapers and the rollers to uh, adjust the thickness. This is a very important part. Uh, on the on producing the MG board. 
This is the third layer materials. Uh, this we call it uh, sanding materials. This material, this layer of the raw materials is producing for the sanding MG board. Uh, here are six silos. These silos and the uh, screw conveyor is uh, using for delivering the MGO powder to the uh, material silos. Now we are going to the third floor of the production line and show you uh, what the production process looks like. Oh, okay. The semi-made board will get into the kids' vehicle and deliver to the current rooms. This is an automatic feeding uh, part to put the mold and the board into the kids' vehicle. Okay, now we are going to the third floor of the production line and to, to see how the materials will be put into the silos. The second uh, floor is the mixing platform. The materials will mix uh, in this platform. Okay, this is the raw materials weighing platform. Here is the MGU powder silo. The MGU powder we are putting into the silo, and uh, on the top of the silo, we also equipped the dust collector. So you can see this whole production line is very clean and uh, no dust around among the platforms. So it's, it protects our workers. After the MGO powder put into the silos, it will be delivered by the screw conveyor into the wing. Into the waiter. So, uh, like this, there are two tanks. One is the uh, water and another one is the MGU Safi liquid. So you can see here, this, these are the weight sensors. So the system, the PLC control system, will weight the weight of the, uh, of the powder, uh, liquid, and uh, to follow the formula strictly. Because the formula for producing the MGU board is very important. Like this, this is for the MGU powder weight sensor. So each silo have three sensors to weigh the weight and uh, to control. Every batch is the, exactly the same and the formula is strictly be followed. Okay, after the materials uh, be prepared and put into the silo, it will be fall down to the second platform, the mixing platform. So, in fact, uh, in our new factory, we mainly produce the special customized board. So we equipped the different mixtures for different layers. Now here, this one uh, you are seeing now is the sanding layer material. So every mixer equipped with the PLC control system, like this is for water, uh, liquid, uh, the magnesium sulfate liquid, and this is the powder materials. It's automatically controlled how much materials will be put into the mixture for each batch mixing, so that 
we control the formula very, very strict. So each batch, the materials uh, are exactly the same. And the board is the stable quality and consistent. So these two mixture, one big and another is smaller, is for the middle layer materials. For different thickness, why we equip two mixtures is because the production efficiency. Like uh, when you're producing the six millimeter thickness and uh, the materials need is less than when making uh, 19, uh, 18 millimeter board. So when you're producing the, the board, another important uh, factor is the quality controls. We use the forms, a report daily report form and uh, batch record form to record the materials used uh, in each batch. Like today, we produce the uh, eight millimeter and we put uh, how much uh, magnesium oxide powder, how much magnesium sulfate and uh, how many so that's the perlite. And uh, our target uh, density, we also give the data to the workers so they know, they know what they are going to produce and what they should do. After each batch uh, mixer mixed, uh, after each batch mixed, they will use, the, use, use this one to uh, take one cup of the materials, mix the materials, and we, and uh, here, and put on it to weigh them. Then he will know the density of the of this band. If it couldn't mix meet the requirements, they will try to adjust it. If everything okay, they will pull down into the hopper, into the silo, to get into the first first floor. and pull down on the production line, on the mold. Just like here, it's also automatically controlled. The PLC controlled the materials to put into the silo, to put it into the mixture. Okay, after the materials mixed, uh, it will put into the hopper and silo to get into the first floor. So we have already seen the first uh, floor's production process. So next uh, step is the cooling process. Before the cooling process, uh, I will going to show you the liquid mixing because we haven't show you the magnesium sulfate making process. This one is the dust collector to collect the dust in the product line. And here is the missing hole of the magnesium sulfate liquid. So when you're mixing the liquid, it's also, it's also very important to uh, make sure the uh, foam, uh, like the, how many waters and how much the magnesium uh, sulfate put into the pool to mixing. So every step we have a, a record form to uh, re record the materials we, we put. Make sure the formula is strictly followed. Okay, after the board has been formed on the production line, it's still wet and soft. How it becoming solid and hard is by the Kuhn process. In fact, the production, uh, the MGU board is formed by a type of other
materials like the MGO uh, magnesium sulfate. Is a and time. So to make sure the chemical reaction is reacted very well and to make sure the board is high quality. Becoming solid. Uh, meet the I uh, resistance. So in this curriculum, uh, you can see uh, you have already seen my glasses are uh, already uh, have some moments. Please the heat. It's a its function is to have special requirements. We will do 24 hours in this first time two rooms. So you can, uh, if you see it from the outside to see the rooms, you can see big space. And uh, to keep the temperature of the room, especially in winter, it costs uh, a lot of the energy and uh, money to keep the temperature and to keep the environment of the current room stable. So that is a big cost. So we can see there are, uh, there are manufacturers didn't equip the, the current rooms or they just do one time current room. So can be, it's a, if you didn't take any actions, it still can be solid, but the quality cannot be controlled and cannot be ensured. So, but uh, compared to this, sometimes the quality is good process, the board becomes solid, and then it can be put into the second time current process. Before putting into the second time current process, we separate the mold and the board and put into the put into this palette, your palette. And uh, we talked uh, in the first time curing process, the chemical reaction, in, you need to put in the second time curing rooms for three days for us, for our product and technology. We put into the second time curing room for, 13, thir uh, for three, three days. It still will release heat and need space to release the heat between the board so that we put strips between the board and then put the board into the second time current process. So next, next step, we are going to the second time current process. Okay, this is the second second time current process. Uh, similar like the first time current process is uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's a little dark here. Uh, but similar like the first time current process, it's also equipped with the heater in this room. It's also it's, it's functional is also uh, to keep the temperature in this room stable. And we also equip the fans to keep the whole room temperature is evenly in different levels. Uh, for the first time current process and the second time current process, we, also, we all need to keep the board in the room for enough time, not just to put into the room for uh, waiting the board becoming solid and then pull out because the chemical reaction and the board's moisture contents and the strings all related to the process. We also have the uh, temperature recorder and uh, the workers will know the temperature in this room. So let's close the door. Uh, 
after the board、uh, get out from the second time current process. Board will get into the cutting line. Today we are loaded、uh, some containers to the Korea customers. Later we are come back. Okay, this this workshop is、uh, for the cutting, sanding, and the inspection and the package before delivery. Let's、uh, see the step by step. This is um this machine is an automatic four edge cutting. So the workers put the board, put the pallets on this. On this position, and the machine automatically suck the board on on the cutting line, and then it will aut automatically cut it four edge side, four edge of the board, and becoming the our target size. Okay.、Uh, for the sanding and do board, another process is the sanding process. This is also our、uh, designed automatically sanding line. The sucker automatically put the board on the sanding process and the sanding line. Okay, let's wait the workers to to put the board. Okay. Then they start the process. This is this part is a turnover machine, so it will automatically turn over the board. Because when we stack the board on the pallets, we put the board face to face and back to back, one by one, so that the surface won't be.、Uh, Scratched and damaged during the transportation in our workshop. Here you can see we equipped with three sanding machines to do three times sanding. Why we equip with three、uh, sanding machine is to keep the tolerance of the board. Like it will sand it each、uh, three steps, so each time is a very thin thickness has been sanded, so that you could control the tolerance of the thickness very accurately. And you can see this sanding line only need two workers. Why is In the beginning, and one is in the end. It saves a lot of the labor's cost, and to keep the tolerance and the quality of the board. You know the,、uh, the tolerance of the board is very important. So 
after the, the board has been sanded, the color inside of the board is very good, and the surface and the back side of the board is very flat. So that for the sanding and do board, it's also very, uh, very good, very suitable for the laminated board because when you laminate the SPL melanin uh, paper on the board, the tolerance is very, very important. Here are here are some palettes used for 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 exporting. You can see the mark. It's a uh, certific certificated uh, by the uh, fumigation uh, company. These are the wood wood palette, not the plywood palette. If you like the plywood palette, it's also okay. But the wood palette we use for the international market is very strong and uh, certificated, so that you don't need to worry about the important process and customer clearance. So after the board cutting, sanding, then it becomes in, uh, the finishing product. But before we package the board, there's another important uh, process, is the inspect inspection. Here is the inspection process. Here is the inspection process. Uh, our workers, you can see, uh, most other ladies, uh, they are checking the board every sheet. Each sheet by each sheet. You check the surface, you check the bike side, and around the board. If there's any holes or any defections, they will pull, pick out the board. They don't. They will not be exported from our customers. So these are workers are packing, packing the pallets. Uh, for for every for every pallet stocking in our uh, warehouse, we Check the 